Elden Ring running at 20 FPS on my old PC is unplayable, but we're about to fix that with the new lossless scaling update that promises to triple FPS in games. With just one click, a five second wait, and a little more patience, you'll be guaranteed 60 FPS. Check out the frame rate displayed on the screen. It's incredible. This update is a game changer. Stick around for the rest of the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a thumbs up to support me. I will explain exactly how this works. Let's start. The latest update to lossless scaling LSFG 2.1 introduces a groundbreaking feature that promises to revolutionize gaming experiences, the X3 frame generation mode. This new functionality generates two intermediate frames, effectively tripling the frames per second FPS. In practical terms, this means a game that originally ran at 30 FPS can now achieve 90 FPS, providing much smoother gameplay and significantly improved visual responsiveness. This enhancement is particularly notable in fast-paced games where every millisecond counts for the player's experience. Moreover, this technology has been optimized to ensure that, even with the increased number of generated frames, latency remains unchanged compared to X2 mode offering superior performance without sacrificing responsiveness. The latest version of Lossless Scaling 2.9 introduces groundbreaking features that significantly enhance gaming performance. With LSFG 2.1, you now have access to 2X and 3X modes, which promise to double and even triple the frame rate in games. These modes are designed to deliver a smoother, more responsive gaming experience. All other settings remain unchanged, and I recommend leaving them at their default values for optimal performance. This update ensures you can enjoy high frame rates without the need for extensive manual adjustments. Guys, just to clarify, I'm playing on a TV with a 60 Hz refresh rate. With this lossless scaling update, the maximum FPS is capped by your monitor's refresh rate, so the higher your monitor's refresh rate, the better the frame rate you'll achieve. This means that while I'm limited to 60 FPS on my current setup, those with higher refresh rate monitors will see even more impressive performance gains. The smoother gameplay and enhanced visual responsiveness are directly tied to your display capabilities. Let's test God of War 3 on the RPCS3 emulator. On my old PC, it typically runs between 20 and 30 FPS, especially in action-packed and detailed areas of the game. High CPU usage makes it significantly difficult to achieve a satisfactory frame rate. Let's use lossless scaling in 3x frame generation mode to see improvements in performance and fluidity. This mode promises to significantly increase FPS. Let's check out the gains together. We've now reached 60 FPS, which is the maximum possible on my 60 Hz TV. I'm genuinely impressed with the results. Despite tripling the frame rate from a low of 25 FPS, I'm not experiencing any issues with high latency or image artifacts. This remarkable performance is due to the GPU not being pushed to its maximum capacity, allowing lossless scaling to operate with optimal efficiency. The technology ensures smooth gameplay and high responsiveness, even under demanding conditions, making it a game changer for anyone looking to enhance their gaming experience. Let's test another game, Elden Ring. With the new DLC on the horizon, it's the perfect time to ensure our setup is ready for an incredible experience. Currently, I can achieve between 40 and 60 FPS at 1440p resolution with maximum quality settings. However, I want to conduct an extreme test with you. We'll intentionally reduce the game's frame rate to 20 FPS using the RevaTuner statistics server and see what lossless scaling is truly capable of. Playing at 20 FPS is a subpar experience, but can this remarkable software make a significant improvement? Let's find out. Let's activate the 3x frame generation mode and see if it performs as expected. After just a few seconds, we now have 60 FPS with a single click. This is an extreme scenario, tripling the FPS from 20, but it's fascinating to see the results. While we did achieve 60 FPS, I wouldn't recommend playing this way. The latency is significantly high, resulting in sluggish control responses and noticeable blurring in the image. Although the fluidity is improved compared to playing at 20 FPS, the overall experience is compromised by the high latency. It's an impressive demonstration of the software's capabilities, but not ideal for actual gameplay. 
Let's conduct another test under optimal conditions for smooth gameplay without any screen artifacts or blurring. We'll lock the FPS at 30 and utilize the 2x mode to double it, observing the impact on performance and visual clarity. This controlled experiment will demonstrate how lossless scaling enhances frame rate stability and visual fidelity without compromising responsiveness or introducing visual distortions. Join me as we explore this feature in action to understand its practical benefits in gaming scenarios. Guys, now the gameplay experience has significantly improved. The game is much smoother with quick responses to commands, and I haven't noticed any major graphical issues. This setup represents the minimum recommended for a satisfying experience with lossless scaling. If you have a more powerful PC and a high refresh rate monitor, I highly recommend using this software for an outstanding gaming experience in Elden Ring and other games. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My channel is dedicated to helping you optimize your PC gaming experience. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.